Hey guys, welcome back to another process video. Uh, today's layout starts with me doing a little bit of um, paper smooshing on the background. And I'm using Abandoned Coral Distress Ink. And I'm going to be using Heidi Swap Color Shine in Hot Pink. And I'm putting it directly on the paper. I didn't gesso it at all. And I'll tell you why I did not gesso, gesso it. For the for the straightforward fact that I was too lazy to get up and get my gesso. <laughs> That's the God's honest truth. And uh, when I did create this layout, I was uh, nine months pregnant and my bum was not getting up. So that was it. <laughs> so let's let's call a spade a spade and that's it. The paper wasn't too warped or it didn't buckle too much. So it didn't bother me too bad. Um, but I do like the end result. So that's all that matters. So here I am. I just used Abandoned Coral and the Hot Pink. And I'm also going to go in with some Heidi Swap Color Shine in gold um, and do some ink splattering. Right there I'm using the Hot Pink. And I'm going to go in with gold as well just to add a pretty accent, a metallic accent to it. And let's see, I think I'm trying to get it open here. Or I'm shaking it or something. <laughs> there we go. So those are my splatters. And I really like the combination of the coral and the hot pink and the gold and the black and the white. Is that a lot? Yeah. But I really like the way it looks. It looks really funky. I like it. So this picture here is of my silly two-year-old and we were at the grocery store and she started posing next to the cheese and she's like, mom, take a picture of me. And therefore, this layout will be called Straight Cheesin. See what I did there? It's a picture of us, well, her and cheese, Straight Cheesin, right? You like that, right? Feel free to click out of the video anytime you want, now that you know that I'm an absolute nut. <laughs> so I'm just going to start finding papers to mat my picture with. And uh, along with uh, the 12 by 12 sheet that I used in the background, I'm, I'm using the 6 by 6 here. So I've chosen just some papers that I'd like to see my picture matted with. Well, picture is matted with because I printed two. Uh, from my Canon selfie um, on like a regular 4 by 6 so 4 by 6 picture split in two so there you go um, so they're 2 by 3s two, 2 by 3s and I didn't bother cutting them apart I like the way they looked side by side there and that frame is from the ephemera pack and I just cut it in half to literally stretch it across my page I really liked uh, the look of it so it kind of looks it's it's not meant to look like it's one piece, obviously, but I just like how it looks like it's two separate pieces and it's stretched along the back. It just adds a lot of continuity to the actual photos that it's um, behind. So that uh, paper that I'm cutting apart right now would be the 12 by 12 cut apart in the 12 by 12 sheets. Um, but in small form, they're just really cute small words, and I'm going to end up using some of them on the layout as accent pieces. I just found that a lot of the ephemera in this collection was um, acetate, and for this actual layout, um, I needed something a little more substantial in weight with that background being so um, busy, like that black and white stripe is very distracting. So with it being just an acetate piece, it's just... A bit more of a distraction that's <laughs> what I feel like um, yeah so uh, I'm gonna go through the alphas here and this the paper collection is pink paisley paisley say la vie I don't think I mentioned that um, and the background paper is number two and like I mentioned I'm also using the six by six pad and um, the alpha there is also from the collection and what it is is um, like a white brick print with that's dipped gold. The bottom um, portion of it is gold, gold foil. It's really, really pretty. So I'm, I picked out all the letters that I needed um, for my title. And I'm not going to do the entire title in this font. Um, I just think it'd be too much. 
Um, and I'm going to end up gluing them down because me and Alphas do not have a good relationship. <laughs> and these ones don't have adhesive, adhesive on the back anyway. So you needed to glue them down um, if you want them to be part of your layout. Because otherwise they're just falling off. <laughs> so I'm going to glue them on. And I'm going to spare you from watching the entire thing. I think I cut it out. <laughs> um, and... I'm just going to uh, finish glue. Oh, I guess I didn't cut it out. <laughs> but the second half of my title, the cheese in part, will be in uh, thickers. They're a foam thicker, a uh, black foam, and the font is called Fitzgerald. It's just a tall um, cap, capital letter font. It's it's very straightforward. It's nothing fancy. And. And those ones are adhesive on the back, so I don't need to do anything to those ones, to those ones there. So I know that it kind of looks a little um, hard to read and illegible on the background paper being a black and white stripe. Um, but in real life, it, I don't have any problems reading it, but in the video form and kind of in pictures as well, it looks like it's kind of hard to read. But... I can assure you that in real life it's it's a-okay it's fine <laughs> so what am I doing here so I'm just gonna shop around a few more um, ephemera pieces um, I like the mix of both the acetate and the cardstock pieces I think it adds a lot of texture to layouts and I'm really happy that manufacturers have begun doing that um, I think it's just really pretty so again I cut another label in half you know, it's a good way to stretch um, your pieces, so you can use them in more than one place or um, even on more than one layout. So I'm just going to create a cluster in the top left corner there, like a banner cluster. And that's pretty much it for my layout. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope you guys will tune in again next time. And I'm making an effort to get in my room and get my items um, scrapped because it's been a long while since I've actually sat in here and gotten my stuff together and documented life. So I have a lot of pictures. I have a newborn now along with my two-year-old so you can imagine I have a ton of pictures. <laughs> oh I have to mention that that cut file that you see right there that cut um, that die cut there is actually just something I cut for my silhouette cameo. That's my own writing. I just wrote it and cut it out. <laughs> it says CUNY. So maybe I'll have that available if I remember <laughs> or if enough people ask for it then I'll get it done. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching like I mentioned and I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much and we'll see you guys in the next video. If you haven't liked please like my video and also subscribe if you haven't uh, for more videos. Thanks so much. Bye.